Hey everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back. This will be my last of my favorites of 2019 series and this one's going to be for hair care and body care and I did one for my favorites of 2019 for makeup and also one for skin care and I'll link those down below if you want to check that out. But this one are going to be my favorites for hair and body care of 2019. I do have to say that this one's going to be a short video because one, I don't have any favorites in body care this year. I mean, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I love the uh, Boom Boom Cream, the Rituals of Dow, Bath and Body Works, Molten Brown. So I didn't see anything that can compete with those uh, in 2019, so I don't have any body care this year. And two, I don't have many products for hair care, I know. So this is going to be a quick video. I mean, I'm still using my favorites from 2018 and these products that I found in 2019, they just kind of add to it. Just to give you some information about my hair, about four years ago, I suffered a shock to my system where I lost over 75% of my hair. It, it, it was devastating and for anyone who has suffered hair loss, you know what I mean. It was a difficult time that I was going through and it's getting better. I have a feeling that it's getting better and I would like to do a video in the coming months, you know, to kind of let you know about my hair loss journey. I'm now starting to feel a little bit better about it because I was self-conscious about my hair. I had to wash it every day. You can see through it. it I didn't feel the weight of my hair on my body and I know it's just hair there are more important things going on around the world but it's my hair but yeah I do have a feeling that it's getting better I'm feeling it you know a little bit thicker especially in the last couple of months yeah I'm going through a hot flash right now because it's stressful so hopefully soon in the next couple of months I could do a video about my hair loss because I think it's important especially for other women or men who have been going through this uh, devastating situation but anywho, let me go ahead and finish letting you know about my hair. I do color my hair probably about every three to four months. And I go to a salon to do that. I don't do that on my own, no. I have naturally curly hair and it does frizz. And it's been humid here in the past couple days, so it's going to be a little more frizzier. And then these products that I'm going to show you, they've kind of helped tame the frizziness and kind of helped with my scalp. And also my scalp does itch and with some of these products that has really helped contain it. And these are the products along with my favorites of 2018 that I have seen a difference with my hair, especially with the itchiness, the frizziness, and the healthiness of my hair. And I do have to mention that these products works on my hair, my hair type. So if you like these products, that's great. And if you don't like these products, that's great too. These are the products that I have seen a difference with my hair. But let's go ahead and start with this product right here by R & Co, the Acid Wash. This one really helps calm my scalp and kind of exfoliate it. And it has the apple cider vinegar that will help do that. It also has aloe vera juice that kind of gives the hair strength and, and shine. It's paraben free, sulfate free, gluten free, cruelty free, and it's vegan. You get six ounces of product in here and it costs $32. And I also like that it has a nozzle, as you can see that right there. This is great for in the shower. You just put it directly to the scalp, massage it in. I usually wait about two or three minutes and then rinse off and then go in with a shampoo and conditioner. I use this one about once every 10 days, two weeks because I have other products for my scalp that I use kind of alternate it. Since this does has apple cider vinegar, it doesn't smell like vinegar, which is really good. I am trying the one by DP Hue and that one does have a vinegar smell. This is my second bottle and I use it this morning. Another product that I use for my hair in the shower is this product by Philip Kingsley, the Elasticizer. This I would say is more like a pre-shampoo treatment. I put this one in the ends of my hair. I don't put it in my scalp because it, it does kind of weigh my hair down. Leave it for about three to five minutes. You know, I'll wash my body, shave my legs, then I'll rinse it off and then I'll go in with a shampoo and conditioner. It has elastin in here to give your hair that added bounce and to prevent breakage. It also has castor oil and olive oil to give your hair that added shine and to make it healthy looking. It's paraben free and fragrance free and it says it's good for all hair types. Now I do have to say this, you know, I do color my hair that you don't use this product 
three or four days before you color your hair and three or four days after you color your hair. So you need to put that into consideration. I also would use this one about once every two weeks or so and I have been really seeing a difference whenever I use this product. It just feels stronger and looks healthier. You get two and a half ounce of product in here and it's $28. Now let me show you my favorite shampoo and conditioner. It's by Olaplex, the number four and number five bond maintenance shampoo and conditioner. It repairs, strengthens, and hydrates all hair types. Now I do have to say when I first used this product I didn't like it. I didn't like the smell. I thought it kind of weighed my hair down and I also didn't like the bottles. It was very hard to get the product out but it was still in my shower so I decided to give it another try. Now I didn't use quite as much as I did the first time and then that's when I saw a difference in my hair. I can get past the smell because the other products, my styling products, I like those smell and that's what I smell. And what I liked about these is that it repairs my hair and it says that, you know, the Bond shampoo, it repairs the bond of the strand of your hair. This also reduces the breakage of my hair and tames the frizz. I did use these this morning and let me say when I rinse my hair, especially after the conditioner, my hair just feels kind of fluffy. I don't know how to say it, but it just feels very smooth and fluffy. <laughs> and these are my second bottles. That's why it's still full. So yeah, I have been seeing a difference while using this shampoo and conditioner, even though I didn't like it the first time. I gave it another try and I do like what I see with my hair. It repairs my hair, makes my hair stronger, and gives that added shine. Now I do have other shampoo and conditioners that I use and I use this one probably about once a week. It's paraben free and sulfate free and it says it's good for all hair types including color treated hair. You get eight and a half ounce of product in here and these cost $28 each. Now let me show you my favorites in styling products and two of them happen to be styling sprays. Let's start with this one by Josh Rosebrook, the serum spray. And I got this one in my detox box by Detox Market. And I'll link that video down below if you want to see that. I spray this on my damp hair and I remember the first time I used this product, my hair felt very soft after I blow dried my hair and it was like, wow. This contains aloe vera and fatty acid oils to help soften, smooth, and hydrate your hair. This is an organic product and it says it's good for all hair types. And I do like this product. It really does give my hair that softness to it. You get four ounce of product in here and it's $28. Now the other styling spray I like to use, this one is more botanical based. The next one by Bumble and Bumble, this is more salt water based. Hence the name, the Surf Spray. This one, it says it contains a salt derivative to kind of give you that added texture to the hair. And when I first used this, I got a little sample of it in the, I believe the Look Fantastic Beauty Box. And I like that texture that I was seeing with my hair. It also has seaweed extract to give you that moisture and kelp to give you that manageability. So it's like you're swimming in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I'll also spray this on damp hair, not at the same time. I do, you know, kind of alternate between these two sprays. And this one does give me that texture, that beachy wave look. This is paraben free, mineral oil free, and cruelty free. And it says it's good for all hair types and color treated hair. You get 4.2 ounce of product in here and this one costs $27. Now this product by Aura Bay, it's the Gold Lust Nourishing Hair Oil. Do you like this one too? And believe me, you just need a little amount of this product for your hair. I mean, if you have thicker hair, maybe a little bit more, but I find just using a pea size amount works for my hair. This is a lightweight oil that just kind of gives my hair that added shine and softness to it. I'm gonna look here because this has a lot of ingredients. It has jasmine, edelweiss flower, leche, sandalwood, cassis, bergamot, and argon extract which strengthen and smooth and nourish your hair. Again, I just put a little bit amount, like a pea size amount in my hands and I also kind of mix it with a styling cream. I don't have any styling creams that I found that I liked in 2019, but the ones that I have offhand are the, uh, the one by Living Proof and also another one by R & Co. I believe that one's the High Dive. But I just kind of mix those two together, put it in my hair after, you know, I'll spray my hair first. Then I'll do the oil and cream and then a mousse and then let it air dry and then blow dry my hair. May seem like a lot of product, but it works for my hair. I have another oil, you know, the Moroccan oil that I just alternate between the two and I'm trying this new one. 
It's a marula oil, and I've used that one a couple of times, and so far I kind of like the marula oil, but, but this one in 2019, really do like this oil. This is paraben-free and sodium chloride-free, and it says it's good for all hair types, including color-treated hair. You get 1.7 ounce of product in here, and this one costs $38. Now, this one will last you quite a bit. I mean, I just use, you know, a pea-sized amount, and I'm just, you know, halfway done. I hope you can see that. Maybe not but it's just like right here. Now the last two products I'd like to share with you, they are not new to me. I had to repurchase them in 2019 because they were getting kind of old and worn and these are round brushes. These are by Spornet. I have the three inch in diameter and then the three and a half inch in diameter. I found these off of Amazon and what I liked about it is the diameter length. I do like this length to kind of, you know, give me that added curl to it when I'm blow drying my hair. Yeah, I have a feeling my hair is going to be looking different than how this video started. And it has the holes in here to let the air go through it and it has that ceramic barrel with tourmaline. So that helps with my frizz. And it says that the bristles are nylon ionic to help with the static. And especially in this cold weather, I know we're getting a lot of static, especially in my hair and clothes. And it has a nice grippy foam handle. Again, this is by the brand Spornet and I'm looking here, they have many different diameter sizes. Is they have a one and a half, two inch, two and a half, three inch, three and a half, and a four inch. And again, this is the three inch and three and a half inch. I couldn't imagine the four inch. That's probably huge. That's probably for really long, thick hair. Oh, and the three inch costs thirteen dollars and thirty cents, and the three and a half inch costs twenty seven dollars and fifty five cents. Well, all right, these are my favorite hair care products for two thousand and nineteen. And yes, they're no body products. Didn't see anything or feel anything that needed to be mentioned in this video and I didn't want to just put one in here for the sake of it, but pretty much this is a favorites in hair care for 2019. I do hope that you enjoyed this series, the favorites of 2019 for makeup, skin care, and hair care. No body care, but I do hope that you enjoyed this series. Well, all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this and you all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.